Hey everybody, welcome to the next commentary. Today we are playing some Hoi Mid versus an Annie. It's going to be a uh, probably an easy matchup until she's 6, I would imagine. Because after she gets level 6, that's probably when like she could maybe just look for all-in, I guess. So that will be when it uh, becomes a bit more difficult, huh? Uh, just try to queue her from far away. If we just run past the minions, we can do that. That's the best way to trade Annie. Uh, starts with Q and she's point and click, so you can kind of just like outrange her if we like keep our distance, but still like stay close enough that we can hit her. I want my Q to like kind of detonate at max range because I feel like it's easier to hit if I do that rather than like I'm really close to her and I can like miss it. But that was pretty good. So I got level two. When I got level 2, I'm just going to immediately start fighting. I know that she'll hit me back, but I have two abilities while she still has one. Doesn't really matter what champion you play. In most cases, if you're able to do something like that, it's really crazy good. And uh, Hui, still, in my opinion, one of the most broken mages in the entire game. If not the most broken. Because I still face him every single day. And whenever I face him, he just never has any mana issues because of your we so it's really stupid how you can just permanently harass people without needing to worry about mana cost like ever it's just such a disgusting play style that's illegal and really don't like it but um he's good so did the lightning bolt trick there we just do ee into qw and now she is so low to the point that uh we might be able to kill her So I got her flash there. Kind of uh, have improved at the EEQW trick, but it's such an easy finisher. And it's, as you can see, basically undodgeable unless you burn your flash. Because you can just drop it as soon as the EE lands right where they're going to be. And uh, I think this slows them. I think EE slows for like half of a second. And that's just barely enough to keep them locked down. Really ridiculous. He has good wave clear, good poke, good finishing move. Finishing move is very nice. Not a lot of champions sometimes have good finishers, like Orianna and Syndra can get people low pre-6, but then like killing them sometimes is a struggle afterwards if they're under turret. Hoi doesn't have that issue at all because you have like a long range execute with your QW. So you have something that a lot of other mages don't really. So got her flash. We're not really up that much CS. Uh, we definitely did probably deny some minions, at least. So, I guess that's pretty nice. Grab these minions. And we're good to go. I'm just going to drop a pink board in here. Can I do EE -E into QQ? Like, what is that? Half of her HP? I'm not even fit. I don't have, like, anything. That was a really terrible ability by me, so... Dude, I can't believe I can... I can just, like, still fight her here. It's ridiculous. I'm pretty sure that landed, too. My cooldowns are just so non-existent that... <laughs> I can just continue fighting, even if I mess up. CSing okay there. Let's just hit this. Is Jin still gone? Oh, dude, he is. It's actually 4v5 right now. He's been gone for... I don't even know. I don't even see uh, when he DC'd. Man, I really don't want to... Uh... Ooh, she walks straight into that for some reason. Hit her. I don't think if I EER, I can kill from this HP. I'm surprised I missed my EE there. This seems like a good HP to kill her if I have enough mana, but I really only have enough for ulti plus like Q right now, so I should probably wait for my W. Also for the bonus damage from W, so... So I'll use it now, get two stacks, 
And then... She should die to that? Step up so I'm even closer to her. And I know that it doesn't matter if she hits me back. She has no flash from previous. So if we just land full combo, it's like almost the perfect amount of damage. It's still 4v5. So... And there's nothing Annie can do. It does look like her build path, though, is going one that is intended that she will eventually become quite tanky, I believe. So, if I full combo her in the future, like, she's going, like, Rod of Ages or something. Rod of Ages, Archangels, so... When she finishes those items, I shouldn't be able to one-shot her for the rest of the game, because she will just be too tanky. Which isn't bad for her, right? That means that, you know, if she just jumps on me inside of any team fight, she can actually really influence it because I'm going to die to one shot if she stuns me and there's other people around for uh, them to assist with the damage. I want to keep my distance at this point because now that she's six, I really feel that I'm going to get ganked. Also, uh, when you have a DC... If you want to win the game, uh, there's one thing that's important to remember. Because Jin isn't here, that means there is no reason for Wukong, the jungler, to ever go bot lane, right? Because the idea is, you're uh, as a jungler, you want to help out people that need it, so... That means the chances of me being ganked go up significantly because there's nowhere else for him to really go. And now this uh, Yorick died top lane. So if Yorick's dead, besides catching waves top or something, where would Wukong really want to gank if his teammates are all dead or like don't need help? It's literally just mid. So <laughs> of course he needs to farm camps and stuff, but that is something to think about. Because, uh, why not gank really the only guy that's gankable? He might go top lane here, though, because she is pretty far up. Okay, I think we go Blackfire Torch versus this style of comp. They also have a pretty annoying comp because of, um, Ash Arrow is such a good engage, that's gonna be an issue. Like, that's gonna suck. Dude, your auto attack range is so insane. Are you serious? Dude, get off of my ward! My goodness, I she actually used Tibbers for vision, I swear. I, I'm pretty sure she had no vision of that area, and she, then she used Tibbers. Uh, we should be able to kill her if I just land a combo now. Uh, Wukong is gonna gank me, had a feeling. I doubt this will kill, but would have been nice if it did. She's just so damn tanky, though. I had a feeling I was getting ganked, too. I should have backed away and played more safe because uh, she was posturing forward when, like, there was no reason to, so... Dude, if my support and jungler actually, like, somehow get a kill here, that's so sick. I think that they do, too. Nice. Got oh, I was... Okay, nice. They did get him. Well played, guys. It's too expensive to buy this item, by the way. It costs 700, not 600, so I couldn't afford it just yet. Gonna look to stop the Annie from basing. Because we want to be annoying and keep her here so I have a better opportunity to hit this turret before she gets back. And maybe, oh, even if she stays, that's pretty good too. And she's dead. 
I threw it down way behind her because I figured that she might run away thinking that I'm trying to fear her, and it worked. I guess she probably did think I was going to go for a simple fear rather than a that snare thing. Because the snare thing, honestly, I mean, if it lands, it's way more guaranteed than other, any other ability, but it does feel like sometimes it's so difficult to land that since they can just walk away from it. Um... That guy died. Nice. All this help. Okay. My CS per minute is okay. You know, it's great that uh, one of their teammates is really weak. That's going to make it way easier to win a 4v5. Obviously. My goodness, dude. Lightning bolt. Lightning bolt? Dang, no, none of my teammates were able to follow it up. Oh, oh well, I tried. I clicked the wrong buttons there, accident. I somehow didn't hit that minion either. Well, it's whatever. Even though we don't get a kill, at least it pressures her, I guess, to, you know, leave and stuff. I think the burn build might be very good. It also will make me a little bit tankier, so also I can survive when I get, like, counterbursted. I don't think that she should be able to kill me with her build path. It feels like it's more of just, I'm going to prevent you from doing stuff in teamfights type build. I'm not going bot lane because I want to defend mid. I know that nobody's ever going to go bot lane, basically. It's probably better for me to just be in an area that allows me to uh, defend against Ash's push. And if I go bot lane, then we're just going to lose mid turret. So, yeah. We really don't have an answer for Annie pushing. One of the best things we can do is just, like, kill people that are over shoved and stuff. If that's possible. Ash can like always arrow here with Nautilus counter. Or like Nautilus follow up I mean. And that makes me just want to use my QE from really far away to just push. Because if I uh, step up to aggro even just to harass. I could get engaged on. I have no idea if this is boarded or not. I still feel like just going bot lane makes no sense. As soon as I go bot lane and show, they'll just immediately shove mid and then somebody has to defend mid immediately, so. But what happened is that because my teammates went for the Yorick, right, and killed him, that means uh, a lot of pressure is being put top lane, which forces Ash or somebody else to like go up there and defend it, so. That's why it's so good if they're able to kill like people on side lane and stuff like that. Ah, I'm hitting some abilities on you. We're just gonna not do any more though, because we want to get this wave just like that. Patience. It's not the most entertaining thing, but the best thing we can do is literally farm and just wait for my teammates to be around. We see where Wukong is. That's, like, super good as well. I really missed that. I'm so fucking upset. How did I, how did I actually miss that? Like, actually... Like, what on earth? I felt like that was, like, a really good one, too. I can't believe I missed. Oh, well. At least Leona was able to help out a little bit and also get that guy's flash. I mean, next time, she might even die. 
This guy's gonna try to kill Annie. Annie doesn't really deal that much. Oh, okay, that's probably not that scary though because it's only Yorick and he's weak, right? So. Man, I'm not gonna be able to kill him. I hate Yorick walls so much, dude. I should just flash out of it. If we lose this fight, it's on me. I should just played really slow against Yorick Wall. Annie's build path is too good, isn't it? <laughs> She's just like super tanky. Everybody tried killing her and nobody could. She messed up. Also, Wukong's low. That's like really important. Dude, please. I shielded myself. Yeah, we're gonna win. I don't even need to hit my abilities. Very scary fight, but it worked out in the end. Right there, Wukong was just too low to fight, dude. He just needed a base. That's called a uh, losing tempo, basically. Tempo is when you're able to be healthy and do things, and when you do a tempo play and then it wins, normally you need a reset to get the tempo back, and if you don't reset, you can extremely lose tempo, and that ruins objectives because now you're too low to fight, so it's all uh, Wukong's fault there for messing up. And we got a dragon from it, which is sick because they were getting really close to finishing Soul, and uh, now they're honestly still pretty far away, and we can maybe even give up a dragon in the future. I can't believe Jin has legitimately been 4v5 this entire game. Like, what on earth, dude? Also, what on earth is that damage? Also. If I had my ultimate, I'd fight you, but I don't, so. I don't know if that hit or not, but if it did, it probably would have killed her straight up. If Wukong goes for me, I'm just dead. Like, if he... How did you get into that brush? I shielded myself? No! Duh! Oh my god, dude. I thought that Tibbers was gonna come kill me. I forgot. Dude, okay, so Tibbers was about to die. I didn't know that it also just gets a burst of HP because it gets pissed off that I killed her. Jeez. Terrifying. I thought that we had enough vision here that we would have seen her walk into this brush. But somehow she got in, so... That was surprising and almost got me killed. I had no idea she was in there. I thought that I would see her. Once again, if Ash just presses arrow and hits me, I'm probably just dead. I'm honestly shocked that she's not trying to fish for arrow more because of how easy it would be to probably create a good opportunity for her team. <clears throat> mm, you gotta go. <laughs> That did not really deal any damage to that guy, did he? Uh, they should try to do Baron here. 
Dude, Aurora, how are you complaining but you just died? Like, what the heck? I like how somehow her dying and messing up bot fight and stuff is, like, my fault. Yeah, it's Hui's fault. Man, what the heck is this, dude? Leave me alone. I don't think I can stop it. Sorry, guys. Okay, the next item is probably a crit bloom because a crit bloom would give us just more magic pen against uh, some of the people that have a little bit of MR coming through and stuff. I like her name is Ego. Very funny. Too bad we never get any clumped fights where, like, they're all grouped up. I'm just getting, like, engaged on by, like, one person or something. It sucks. Ah, Yorick. Time to run. Yorick, no flash. Leona died somehow. Coming mid right now to try to defend. Really? Also Leona? 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 What? Okay, good job, Aurora, killing the Wukong. If Leona pressed her E when I missed my ability, would I have lived? Would she have saved me if she just immediately committed to help? Also, we were going to get the dragon, it seems. That'd be really good. Unless Yorick stops. Yorick could. I mean, he's, he's low, but Skarner is even lower. So, yeah, I guess we can't do the dragon. I think that I also shouldn't TP for it either. I don't think it's going to be that good for us. Well, we're still just hoping for a better team fight. Wukong, I guess, just always is going to be jumping on me. He just, like, completely ignores the entire fight and just goes for me. But I think that I can survive. I, I died because I missed my ability. If I didn't miss it, I probably would have been okay. So. Definitely did. Actually, I'm not. Holy, they overcommitted so hard. My E missed, though. Aurora has, like, a reset mechanic, so... Oh, lightning. Nice. Yeah, they, like, all grouped up, and I got off an ultimate. I think that hit three people. Like, three of their melee picks were, like, all together. Also, did Skarner just kill Ash? Nice. Well played, guys. Good fight. Winnable game. How's Aurora's damage? I wonder if he's going to do more at the end. I feel like I should. I mean, if I was as fed as her, probably, but... It's just because when I drop my QE inside of teamfights and stuff, and people are just walking over it, my damage is just constantly happening, so... 
I feel like that's really going to influence it. We can't get arrowed. Dude, we can't just, like, all beeline at bot lane. I can eventually go down there to help and stuff, but, like, if we just... If everybody goes bot, the enemy team's just gonna push mid and take our inhib, so... I don't know why she thinks that that would be the best possible play. Like, we can't just ignore responsibilities of other lanes. That being said, I feel like the enemy team should be looking for us. TPing in. He's running. We need to go back. We need to defend, bro. They can try to end here, dude. I feel like Aurora needs to be with us, man. Okay, they're just backing away, really. Oh, I guess we're just that strong. Dude, I don't like that Tibbers is alive. Tibbers bothers the heck out of me. I also felt like I got left alone. I felt like somebody could like walk in front of me to at least like help kite a little bit because it seemed that we were going super hard and then everybody just backed away suddenly. At least I got off some damage before I died though. I mean, they're really, really low. No one's peeling for Aurora. This is how I felt inside of my fight. It's okay, though. Nobody said it was going to be easy. Do I need to beg? <laughs> oh, that's funny. Uh, 30 seconds on dragon, so I'll just shove this, and then we're gonna start walking over. <laughs> I'm on the way. I think I want to go maybe a Banshee's next or something, because I do get a place so far away that I'm not really getting hit by anything. So the Banshee's will stay for a while on me. Oh my goodness. That did hit backline. They're kind of grouping up. I'm trying to help the Aurora because nobody else is helping her. Missed, but that's fine. Jin's back! What? Jin is back? It's been. Bro, it's been like 30 minutes. I can't believe he's back. What? <laughs> what? I've never had a game where, like, if somebody doesn't come back in the, tw like, 25 minutes, somebody comes back? That's insane. My PC died? What on earth, bro? I can't believe he's back. <laughs> That's so funny. Oh. There is somebody here. I have no mana. This is so awkward. Help! I got no mana. I need to hit something. Can I just hit this? Is that okay? I'm just gonna hit it a couple times for the mana. Guys, I'm 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 like giga oom. I 
why does Baron... Do you see how far away I am from Baron? Like, what on earth? Oh my god, this Garner thingy made me miss. I should have anticipated that, though. Bro, this is ridiculous. I can't even, like, fight. I clumped them together for my passive. Guys, help! He flashed for me, bro. Oh my god. Jeez. I swear my KDA looks way worse than the amount of influence that I'm having in these team fights. I swear. I just don't get kills, I just influence the fight. I'm gonna go farm bot lane. I'm so close to decap. Alright. I'm just gonna walk over here. Mm, I'm not gonna walk over here, actually. We just want to stick with the wave and force them to come to us. Whenever you're with the wave and pushing, normally they're gonna try to find a way to get to you. Skarner based? Goodbye, Ash. You stepped up too far, didn't you? I feared him. Pulls ultium, I guess. Wait, did that really not hit the correct one? Ah, it's game over, GG. So yeah, that was a 4v5 boy game. Hopefully you guys enjoyed uh, us trying to come back. It took a long time, but thankfully because uh, York got, I guess, did he get destroyed by just Aurora or did he just get perma camped? I didn't get any ganks mid really, so I guess that he was just like. Yeah, anyways. I'm curious what the damage is gonna look like. I had way less gold than her, but once again, way damage, just like, Feel so high every single game. He does so much damage. So we'll see what it looks like. Waiting for the loading. Give it to them. Cool. Yeah, I didn't do the most, but the damage was still pretty high up there, especially for our uh, amount of gold that we had. So anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed the 4v5, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out. Bye. Hey, everybody. Welcome to the next commentary. Today we are playing, or rather, welcome to game two, I guess. What the hell am I talking about? Welcome to game two of the play. Playing versus a TF. Uh, shouldn't be that difficult, I think. I mean, the most annoying part about TF is how he can just, like, gold card inside of team fights, but otherwise, it's pretty chill. Nice red card by him, though. Got me pretty good there. Hopefully this mini doesn't die. Dang, it really does? Seriously? My first hit. He has Ghost. Okay. Oh, really? Wow, I really felt like I weaved it in between those minions pretty well there, too. I know he's starting to run out of mana by spamming so much. I know he has blue card and stuff, but... What? Is this guy doing? Is that even worth it for him?
miss my key back away before he gold cards me. That's why I like uh, trying to use my Q at max range so when it explodes there's a chance that it hits them because if you miss it past them then it won't explode. It will just continue going. I don't like that. It's really annoying. Nice harass. Just getting back our mana. Diego's bot, so we're okay mid as well. I want to use QQ to hit him and nothing else, really. Nice. I'm pretty sure that proc'd. Yeah, it did proc on him, so I got massive trade off. He's starting to get so low now. Just keep up the pressure. He is down a lot of CS right now. A massive amount. Nice hit. Diego. I have to flash, otherwise I die. Because Nautilus was here. That'd be funny if it killed him, but... Well, I have a lot of pressure mid lane, and I was able to at least force that guy to come, so... Right? Force Diego to rotate. Really? That's really sad. Whatever, I guess we can't get it. We'll just be TPing back because this guy didn't have TP. It's also even better for me because, like, he's just not going to have the best wave state because I'll just TP back to fix my bad wave state. So we're still in a pretty nice position here, too. Just because of the CS advantage. I'm pretty sure EXP advantage, too. Bad uh, QW angle. I should have uh, aimed it be behind him there, and it would have hit 100%. Got hit by a card. Dude, what on earth is this? Why is there so many people mid? This is ridiculous. I'm not missing my stuff, and I have Lulu here, kinda, so... I knocked him into that. Big trade for us. Nautilus is mid. Board that. I can speed you up, I guess. Just kill Diego first. I do have my ult, but are we confident in fighting it? Alright, well, we got the grubs, or at least some of them. At least they didn't get all three, and at least we killed them too. TF's gonna pour bot and kill him. There's literally no counterplay to that. I mean. Oh, wow, but he's really low, though. I don't think Lulu can catch him. Just executed himself to prevent it. Well, we'll just get a plate. There's not really much else that I should be doing. I don't think that roaming bot lane would be that good either. Massive trade onto that guy, but I don't have any CDs to probably kill. So we'll just go for a base. 
I have like almost double his farm. Lost chapter, and then let's run back mid, I guess. He's really fast now. He has level 2 boots, so it should be a bit more challenging to land combos onto him, but he's still super squishy. He didn't go Merc Treads or anything, so... York dead? Not the three-man, dude. All right. He's missing a lot of minions at least. Whenever I shove him under turret, I'm just getting to free hit no matter what. I have Nocturne on like the red, so I if I get ganked, I'm just gonna try to run to him to save myself. That's the plan. I walked into that. I'm also going to get hit by that too. That's really sad. Yeah, he has to give up so many minions. This is so great. Don't think anybody's going to be ganking though. Hmm. I feel like Nautilus is going to come mid. I really do feel like I'm going to get ganked by him if I continue pressuring. I guess I would not like to lose my flash. Nautilus is still missing. I don't think I saw him bot. Mid is starting to get really low. The turret. It's only 10 minutes too. Mm, yeah, we just need to fight these guys, huh? Got him. Damn, what a exact timing for my teammates to all be nearby as soon as they engaged on me. Like the moment that TF Flash gold carded me, Lulu immediately McHales it. That was kind of nuts. <laughs> Extremely fast reaction, and this is just getting us even further ahead. Look at the CS lead now. It's up to 50 CS. 50 CS is a, a huge amount of gold. All right, I just need a base. My purchase is gonna be huge. I could probably buy a uh, sword boots too, which is sick. So we'll just leave. We'll have level two boots myself. He's gonna stop me just to be annoying. I guess all this base over here. I can't really TP bot. I don't have like any mana really. I'd be able to use like one ability. Can I go? They're gonna see the TP. Does he die? Or did he flash? Alright, well, mm, I don't know if I could have saved Lulu. I liked my TP angle better than um, on the turret because I know that they didn't see it. 
Because maybe then Nautilus would stay under turret, sacrifice his life, and then Viego would run down. But then Lulu might have lived. I don't know. Oh well. In the end, it was definitely still favorable for us. I even get more plates again, too. I'm starting to get so many plates this game. I'm also getting to, like, the crazy spike points that make me so damn strong. I probably should just ulti him, but oh well. Oh, oh my goodness. I got hit by that. You're dead. I'm dead. I'm not dead. He missed his cards, and he also blue carded me for some reason. And I got him. Holy. That's a tilter. The TF coming down and not killing me because he threw his cards in a weird way. My goodness. Alright, let's try going uh, Horizon Focus this game. I'm so fed. Ah, oh, got the dragons and the objectives. Uh, I can go top lane to see if I can help this guy, but it seems that York just dies so damn fast. He just warded that brush. Okay, Lulu's here. There is a Nautilus here. Yeah, I don't think that if I ran into them, that would have worked out for us, so. We'll just play it slow and just wait. If Diego gets, like, my shutdown, the game is extremely losable because he's just a reset champ and he's insane in team fights. It's kind of scary just running back mid. I'm so scared that Nautilus is, like, gonna find me. Like, he's just sitting in a brush somewhere with someone. Did hit him there, a little bit of poke. Hit TF. TF wild cards aren't hitting me. They are hitting me. Just be annoying. I'm gonna go grab blue buff. I got nothing else to really do. My team can probably get mid turret pretty damn soon. So I'll just go bot lane for now. I have TP in 30 anyway, so I can just stay down here and just wait for whatever thing happens next. Hopefully TF doesn't port on me with other people being around, though. That would be the worst thing to happen. Also, this guy's strong, and I'm pretty sure should be able to completely crush me. If he gets on top of me without, like, getting hit by a CC ability or something. If I'm able to, like, snare him and slow him down, maybe there's a chance I can win if he doesn't have, like, flash or something. Rise and focus. Man, I hate that I'm facing the Wukong and not the TF, dude. This sucks. Okay, Wukong's top. We see him. That's good. At least I get to put down vision control. Oh, they are fighting mid. Nope. Oh. I can poke them, I guess. I mean, if they overextend, I actually am a champion that's pretty damn nuts at, uh, like, denying pushes and stuff. And also, if they, like, group up a little bit, they can all just get destroyed, so... We'll see if they want to step up. Yeah, it looks like they don't. It's just a bad team fight, but in the end, 
we didn't really lose anything objective wise so who cares i guess dragon's coming up pretty soon i'm gonna go we can let twitch have it because twitch is just beelining it down mid and someone used to collect bots so wukong face check me no What? Did he know? Huh. If I land the fear, I would immediately ultimate, and that would just reveal where he is when he tries to run away, and I probably would have won, because I would have gotten the first hit off. Getting the first hit off is, like, the way that most champions can beat each other if they're, like, even, and they're both somewhat fed, and we both are. But I guess I just wasn't able to, uh... I don't know, I guess he must have seen me. Maybe, like, this was warded, and as soon as I stepped out, it showed me or something. Because that's kind of what it felt like. Yeah, I can't really do anything to this guy. Is that... We'll check it. Oh, he just warded it now. Oh, what, what is Ultium? I mean, we should probably just kill, right? That's the best thing that we can do. Wukong's behind us, no? No, he's not. Alright, should be able to get this. And then we're only one dragon away from Soul. That's a win con for us. I'm just going to go defend mid because that's what they're going to be going for. I don't think I can defend the turret, but at least I can... Kill the rift so it doesn't crash again, maybe. Oh yeah, it doesn't get it. Never mind. Alright. Still having really good fights, good picks. The dragon came up and Brand was just caught out of position because he should be grouping with his team and we have a Nocturne and our vision control is good enough that we can see where people are. Then there's three people bot side. Like Nautilus, TF, no no no, Wukong and uh Viego were bot. And for some reason Brand was top like of the dragon so his team can't even help him so he just dies very nice my whole team is like bottom side right now or just the jungler is Makes me nervous. They're not on it, thankfully. That would be very bad because our our vision control topside is so bad. They could have been on the Baron for so long. They were all missing forever. We probably just would have lost it too because nobody wanted to check it really. I was like trying to but not getting myself killed though. All right, team, we need to get the Baron Vision down. Lulu, you have all of your wards. Let's let's start setting it up. Pretty sure I can get caught and not immediately die, especially if we see that Wukong's bot side. I feel like we're way less threatened. You kind of just... Just went in, huh? Man, they're all so freaking low, dude. It's so annoying. They're all 1 HP. Wukong is just so ridiculous, dude. When he's able to get into our team comp, there's like... It's so difficult to peel it. 
Especially if Lulu doesn't have her ultimate yet, so we're just gonna lose Baron off that fight. The fight also was like not a good one because it was multiple fights going on at once rather than like everybody just playing together, which also sucked. Being able to play front to back for me is so good, but oh my god, we don't lose Baron though? Good. I would have been so tilted if we lost Baron. All right. Well. Still in a pretty good position. I mean, TF is just going to be super useful still just because he's going to gold card with his rapid fire cannon. So he has super long range stuns. Yeah, it also sucked that Viego got resets off. That really blows for that fight. Our vision control is trash, and they are just gonna do it. It's probably because you're a spot, so. Double W to at least try to defend. Wow, I can't believe that with all of our shields, we somehow survived. That was my shield and Lulu's shield both. And it was just barely enough. Oh, it's so difficult to play with his Yorick because he's just so far behind. At least he took one turret, I guess. The dragon is coming up, and this is obviously a really important one since it's soul. Did Viego just base? If we rush it immediately and fight, it might be possible to still win even though we're down a man. I mean, also Wukong's topside. do this. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. There we go. Nice steal, dude. And we also got that brand super low. I don't think he can die, though. I just got stopped, but... Oh, wait, he just showed himself. What? Does that mean it's possible to kill? Yeah, I got him. For some reason, he decided not completely run away. Yeah, Wukong might go in. All right, cool. Yeah, I had a feeling that we could probably win that fight just because Viego being a little bit chunked and Wukong being topside is kind of a, a big deal, isn't it, for their team? Like, he's one of the most fed members of their entire team, and he's just not going to be there for our soul dragon. Okay, it's going to take me time to do this, but we'll eventually get it. Nice, we like that. <sighs> Who's down here? It was only TF, right? I saw him. I should be fine versus him. But if it's other people, then... You want me to try to find him? Nah, you can't be here because the Baron means you're gone unless, like, the Baron just expired. Who's that for? Oh, he went mid. Okay, TF showed everyone. Why is Twitch getting caught? No! What? Wow, Twitch lived for so long, though.
That was some ridiculous flashing on me, but whatever. You guys got me. I did a pretty decent combo, but unfortunately, uh, they died very quickly. My Zhonya's was really useless. It can't even be used to save me there. It just delays the inevitable death, so might as well just not even use it and save for another fight. Yeah, it sucks that Twitch fought that. I don't know why he fought it either. Like, that was a terrible position to be in. Even if they clump up for me and I land a, like, three-man hit, doesn't really matter. It was too tanky. Well, hmm. I mean, Baron's gonna be up soon. Still having soul is, like, a really big deal. How does 05 York have a shutdown? Zero 05 York, who is down farm, who is two levels behind, has a shutdown. He has less items. He has less items than like almost everybody. Like, what? He has like two and a half. He might finish his item now, but... Alright, do we want to look mid? Yeah, Baron's coming up. We should just play for that. We just need to get vision control down, although our team comp... I could maybe ulti this guy. Oh, I feared him. That's huge. This is huge. We should fight this. This guy should die immediately. There's no way that he doesn't immediately die. I have Zhonya's here, too? How, how do we, like, not win that even harder, though? Like, Viego and Nautilus only went for me. And I zonied it. And at the beginning of the fight, we started off with ruining Wukong's engage, which was very random, by the way. He just, like, immediately went in. Dude, I thought that this Yorick build is supposed to be, like, you leave your maiden to just continue pushing. Like, and Yorick would go, like, group and do something else. Like, he can go do, like, Baron with the team or something. Because he was letting his meeting go by. Mm, okay. Well, we got mid, I, I guess. I will just wait in base for my uh, needless. I should probably be the one that needs to clear top lane just because I have TP and York doesn't, but... Dude, are you serious? He could have been, like, beelining it towards us. Oh, okay, they're already on it. Got it. Crap, everybody just grouped up so hard for me there. Man, I can't read this Viego's movements. P is doing some wild stuff. He's dead, though. Oh, that guy is Flash. Interesting. So Nocturne can't heal off this, really? I thought Nocturne... I thought junglers, like, get healing when they fight camps and stuff, and he would actually be able to, like, continue, uh...
seems like a good fight to me. Nice. Even though Nautilus catches me, I mean, he's not going to be able to block my ability. That guy flashed, dude. What the heck is this guy doing? That guy flashed for me? I'm just gonna do this. Okay, now just do Baron and then we push with the Elder and we can win. Because they most likely won't even bother trying to defend this. Base, buy your final items. I'm just gonna buy like blue pot and stuff, and we are ready to just win. I'll maybe even just try to like fish for ultimate, because if I just land on somebody at this point, should just enable an automatic win. Now, they might try to like hard engage us immediately with like Wukong, so that's scary. We need to make sure that we don't get flanked. That Like, that's the biggest thing. If he gets a crazy flank off, it's really bad. But I can check brushes pretty easily. Which is really good. Huh. I lived. Barely. Oh, nice. That guy died. The burn was too much. Didn't get hit. Oh, I do. I die. The shield's not enough. I think Yorick can... Because he's so uh, tanky, let's do the rest, though. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed the, the uh, Huawei commentaries. If you did, drop a like on the video. Subscribe if you enjoyed the style of commentary. And I will see you guys in the next one after we look at the damage and stuff. TF feels so weak. I feel like that champion just never feels good. Recently, at least. After they gave him the AD buffs and then removed some of his AP spike, I just didn't like that. So, did most damage. Nice. As we should. And I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching again. Bye.